Here's my vaporator unit. There's the carburetor float assembly that I am using and I just cut a plate here to hold the float together so it wouldn't come out. The gas inlet has come through here and up through the top of the unit. put out all the outlets and the inlets to the top of the unit so that it could be one complete unit and I can take it out of the bucket or into the bucket to do any repairs or whatever. At the inlet here I'll be putting an air filter on here to filter the air before it goes in. This is where the vapor will be going in up to the engine. I sealed it around here. here you can see the proximate level of the gas and that's the float valve that keeps the level of the gas the same box around it to the bottom. All this bottom is is a cookie sheet and I filled, filled in between here with foam insulation. That will protect the, the container itself because it's just plastic and it will keep the gasoline in here warm. I took a piece of tin here and I drilled a whole bunch of little tiny holes, mounted this just above the, the gasoline level so that the liquid gas doesn't come up and get sucked into the manifold. On top of that I put these scotch pads. Then to hold it all together I just fitted a screen on top and I'm going to put a couple screws on here to hold it all together. Air is going to come through here, down here, through these tiny little holes. It's going to start to bubble and make bubbles and make vapor. The vapor is going to come up through here. This is kind of a splash guard to keep the liquid from going up here. Then the vapor is going to come up into here, over here, into the engine. This goes into the engine. This line is here is for the water to circulate inside here to keep the gas warm. This tube that goes down here is going to be uh, putting air into the into the bottom of the gas and there's a whole bunch of tiny little holes at the bottom of this tube.
which is going to create more bubbles and hopefully create more vapor. This here is part of an old carburetor I'm using as a float valve to keep the level of the gas just above here. vaporizer that I'm going to use for the water system. Here I drilled a bunch of uh, tiny holes at the bottom of this vaporizer so we could get some really really fine vapor. And this uh, kind of a splash guard here I put in there so the water don't splash and go up into the engine. This is just an ordinary toilet valve so I can adjust the flow. And here's the complete unit ready to install. This is the spot where the water vapor is going to come in and mix with the fuel vapor. You can also see a screen down there which I made for backfire protection. There's my 1987 Ranger. Which I'm going to put the vaporator in. Since there's uh, not enough room in the engine compartment here to put the vaporator, I decided to uh, move the radiator up ahead. So that I got room to put it right here in front of the engine. There's my booster juice. This is the air intake into my vaporizer here. And the vapor comes up here, over here, up into the engine. 
Here's a butterfly valve for my secondary air that I can control with this cable from the inside. Here's my fuel line coming in. And this here, I just made a little inspection hole so I could uh, take a look to see how much fuel I have and uh, the level of the fuel makes a difference in how it runs. So here I can experiment with different levels and uh, see which runs best. There's my compressor that I use uh, for putting air right down here into the vaporizer. Haven't experimented too much with it yet, but uh, uh, I have plans to do it. Here's my onboard welder. Cables right there. There's my hydrogen generator, which I will be using with the vaporizer. Down here is my water vaporizer, which I'm going to experiment with. Here's my water from the engine coming in here, down in here, through the vaporizer and back out here, and back to the heater. That's to keep the, the gas in the vaporizer warm. It all runs pretty good sitting here, so today I'm going to take it for my first test run.
so far so good we've gone uh, about 11 I get 11 kilometers and uh, we're still going at uh, between 45 and 50 miles an hour and she's still running pretty good a little bit of rough sometimes but uh, pretty darn good After I did some testing with this vaporizer, I was quite impressed. The performance was very well, it ran very good, and the mileage was more than double on this unit. This unit does have some bugs in it, and it needs some modification to make it work better, but for the, my first unit, I think that uh, perform very well and I'm quite pleased with this unit and my second unit is going to be a lot better. Thanks for watching.